Tonight we're getting some hints into the Fed's investigation into State Senator Martin Sandoval. Investigators raided his home and office two weeks ago. Now we're learning they are investigating his connection to electricity giant ComEd. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into Sandoval's relationship with ComEd, which goes back more than a decade. Our cameras were rolling as federal agents raided Illinois State Senator Martin Sandoval's office at the Illinois State Capitol in Springfield and his home in the Gage Park neighborhood late last month. Now energy giant Commonwealth Edison and its parent company Exelon are being pulled into the fray, acknowledging today that they've been subpoenaed for records of any communications with the Democratic state senator. A spokesperson telling me today they intend to comply with any and all inquiries and they formed a special oversight committee to oversee it. Sandoval is a member of the Energy and Public Utilities Committee, and his relationship with ComEd goes back to 2007. Since then, his campaigns received more than $26,000 in donations, making him one of the top 25 recipients of ComEd donations during that period. It's, it's all above the board in terms of uh, campaign finance regulation, and I don't think the FBI is going to be interested in that. Unless the donations were used inappropriately, added North Central College political science professor Stephen Caliendo. Sandoval's other connection to ComEd is his daughter, Angie, who, according to her LinkedIn profile, has been working for ComEd for nearly seven years, taking on the role of senior account manager in June. While not illegal, Caliendo argues that the optics aren't great. Now, records show ComEd has donated to at least 16 of the state senators on the Energy and Public Utilities Committee. Today, Sandoval did not return a request for comment. A spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Illinois, which filed the, the subpoena last week, declined to discuss it. Live in the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Interesting optics, Megan. Thank you.